show. Welcome to my channel. This is part five of Marvel Midnight Suns. I hope you all are doing well and doing awesome. I'm ready to get into this gameplay. If you like this, um, this playthrough, just let me know by clicking the, the subscribe or follow button on, on, uh, on YouTube and or Twitch. Links to my Twitch page is below in the, in the underneath the, the video here, and you can find and, um, my, my link to YouTube on, on, the, on my Twitch homepage. And with that said, here we go. I'm ready on that. This is going to be fun. These hellhounds are nothing but mindless beasts. Don't hesitate to strike. They certainly won't. You were too weak for this fight. Mother of They cannot possibly match your strength. this trial, but don't worry, the other gods are waiting.
Volkswagen. It's your birthright, and I think after everything you've been through, you can handle it now. The two of you, as well as your mother, are the last of your kind, the blood. Your lineage follows an unbroken line to the old gods themselves. And if you call upon them, you might just find they're actually listening. They won't work miracles for you, but their blessings can be quite useful in the right circumstance. Why don't you ask the goddess Ashtor for her aid in dealing with that barrier over there? Noble Oshter guides my hand. Must not be her purview. She does not see it happening. The gods are fickle. After all this time, it's still just as beautiful as the first time I laid eyes on it. It's hard to believe Lilith and Caretaker brought this place all the way from Transia. Of course, it was no coincidence that they wound up so close to Salem. This area is particularly attuned to the forces of magic. That's why the Elder God's influence was so prevalent here. And why our sanctuary here has remained all but impregnable over the centuries. <laughs> and now I'm rambling on like an old Sorcerer Supreme. Why don't you come see me in the library tomorrow night? Oh, and... Let's keep this just between the two of us for now. I'm afraid Sarah... Uh, caretaker... Isn't ready to see me yet. Good night, Hunter. Good girl, Charlie. Uh, is this thing 
on. Uh, Hunter, please come to the forge at your earliest convenience. Again, that's Hunter to the forge. Thank you. Uh, strange out. See, Hunter, you're so much more than a weapon. You're fun. We still have so many more movies to show you, like, like Sedmi's Grindhouse Place. Hunter, just in time. His royal weirdness and I were deciding what to do with that nasty little Hydra gift box you found. Ah, yes. The spooky crate? The very one. Though it is far from any mere container, I assure you. I am detecting powerful emanations from inside. If this is a sign of what Hydra is after, I fear we are all in grave danger. My offer still stands. I could fly the thing up and nuke it in orbit. Only way to be sure. Or we could open it, Tony. And perhaps use the mystical energies I sense inside to our advantage. Yeah, I heard a we in there. <laughs> Green goopy gamma serums are one thing. I'm not opening boxes full of mummy curses. You don't have to. Hunter, if you'll allow me. Your second funeral, boss. Desperately need to get into this crate. Whatever artifact is inside, it's better off in our hands. Ooh, new coil. Let's get to work. Until next time. If Hydra is now working to acquire mystical antiquities, then our situation is very dire indeed. We need to find a way to gain the upper hand. And you think you can do it with whatever's in the container? Tony has one of the greatest scientific minds that I've ever seen. I, of course, have an unparalleled understanding of the mystic arts. I have no doubt that we can find a way to research whatever we find in there and have it work in our favor. I just wonder what it could be. Do you think this will be enough to give us an edge? I hope so. Whatever it is, it's quite powerful. I'm relying on my instincts here, but truly that's all I have to rely on until I can find a way to access the Sanctum's archives again. That seems a bit risky. Right now, with the Sanctum out of my reach, I'm fighting with one hand tied behind my back. It, metaphorically, that is. If I can find items to research, I can give the Midnight Suns every possible advantage over Lilith and her disciples. I look forward to seeing what you come up with. Me too, Hunter. Now, all this talk is going nowhere unless we can get this container open and study what's inside. Approach the anvil, Hunter. We do not have time to spare. What have you brought me today? my time could be dedicated to study. I just... By the hoary hosts of Hoggoth, I, I can hardly believe it. What? Is it worse than you expected? No, it's totally unexpected. It's the Eternity Dagger. This was in a place of honor in my bedchamber in the Sanctum for years. The Sanctum Sanctorum is no common domicile to be burglared. These barbarians have no idea what they possessed. Or perhaps they did. 
Maybe these artifacts are exactly what Faustus and my mother were after to begin with. A distressing thought? If they had my dagger, then who knows what others of my priceless possessions have passed through their greedy fingers. The cube of nothingness. The tear of Prophia, and most worrisome of all. Your toothbrush? You, uh, had a little coffee thing going on this morning with your breath? Oh, Tony. Sorry. Doc's right, Hunter. I drank three glasses of holy water just to walk through the Sanctum's front door. This is like a doomsday vault for all sorts of supernatural nastiness. We need to put a lid on this mess. Pronto. I believe Carol is already working on it. At last. Now that this artifact has been returned to its proper owner, we shall see if we can make use of the mystic forces contained within. A simple object, though certainly not useless. Welcome to Tony's Scary Demon Cave. I'm Tony, and how may I assist you today? How does this look? Did you say you were exposed to this thing? Eh, it's probably fine. We're not quite finished yet. Like despair? Moving to the Forge Hunter? You've been here more in the past few days than I have since... ever. The Forge is pretty badass, but the creature trapped inside riles up my own inner demon. Um, speaking of, there's something you should know about me. You are bonded with a spirit of vengeance? Damn, you're good! How could you tell? You are not the first Spirit of Vengeance to join the Midnight Suns. I fought beside another, just a few days... <clears throat> three centuries ago. Oh man, um... 
Sometimes when I have crap to work through, I like to get my blood pumping. Why don't we hit the yard for a sparring session? I know Sparky's excited to meet you. Sparky? That's what I call my spirit of vengeance. His real name is something you'd see written on a symbol, but with like 12 apostrophes. Also, he's not allowed inside after the incident with caretaker Sumerian Sofa. It would be my honor to spar with the spirit of vengeance. <laughs> wow, he's real excited. Never thought he'd get bouncy, but here we are. Okay, let's do this. I'll get Blake to set things up. Won't take a minute. I will head to the yard. Um, when you and Sparky trade places, what does he look like? He's the guy with the flaming metal skull and hellfire chains. Kinda hard to miss. Hunter, ready to get your burn on? I'm talking training with Ghost Rider. Spirits of vengeance train the hardest. Ready for more? I think we've got something for everyone. Maybe you should be the spirit of Hunter, report to the war room. We've got a mission. Game for another round if you are. How goes it, Hunter? Or is it the Hunter?
called for me, Captain? Keep telling ya, Carol works too, but yeah, I did. Now that Tony's finally starting to get a handle on his gremlin problem, I've been able to put Central to good use. Got a lead on some particularly gnarly Hydra operations happening in the city. But we need to move fast if we want to intercept them in time. Then let's get going. My thoughts exactly. There's just one problem, though. We seem to have lost our gatekeeper, Magic. Lost? Well, I updated her on the mission. She said something I can only assume to be a prolific swear word in Russian and disappeared. Literally. And with no magic... There is no passage to New York. Or anywhere, for that matter. Now you see my problem. Do not worry, Captain. I will locate and alert her of the team's needs. There's that can-do, get-it-done, old-timey, prophesied, savior of humanity attitude I was hoping to see today. Still, you better hurry. Not sure how long Hydra will remain in their current position. And I shall make haste. Yes, you hasten as much as you can, Hunter. Don't sneak up on an old lady like that. Not much more I can tell you, Hunter. Though I did hear her mutter something about Wanda right before she poofed away. Maybe that helps. Thanks, Captain. I shall find her. You feeling all right? If you've come to ask me where magic is, the answer is, I don't know. She doesn't talk to me very much anymore. She blames me for Wanda. I fear if she doesn't let her go, it will cost us all. Go find her and talk some sense into her, will you? We don't have much time. Hunter. Crazy world you woke up to, Hunter. Hydra running around causing trouble. Apocalypse prophecies. The Bronx. It is indeed, Daywalker. And that op against Faustus. The way Captain Marvel just absorbed that bomb. Unbelievable, isn't it?
Are you trying to make a point with this? No. I mean, I just wanted to catch up. I see. Well... She's something else, though, huh? Excuse me? Smart, quick-witted, fearless, hell, she even glows. And do you find all of your allies equally impressive? Yes. No. Wait, wait. What are you trying to say? Some Cupid kills with arrows, some with traps. What in the hell are you talking about? It is Shakespeare for, you fancy her. I do not. I respect her as a fellow warrior. The same way you respect Tony or a caretaker? Hell no. It's... <laughs> never mind. And therefore is winged Cupid painted blind. Okay, I'm done. I'm gonna go kill some monsters or something. Let's just keep this a, a chat to ourselves for now. not perchance know where I can find magic? Uh, sure. Just look all around you. The Abbey is literally littered with magic. Can't go anywhere without tripping over some hex or curse. Right. Thank you, Tony. Welcome, Hunter. Doctor, have you seen magic recently? I'm curious why you would be asking me that. Perhaps I'm just being sensitive, but I get the feeling she doesn't like me very much. I suspect it has something to do with losing Wanda. Sorry I can't help you more. For someone they just dug up, you look pretty fresh. Nico, do you know where magic is? We need her. Uh, let me guess. To open another portal? She's getting a little tired of being the only person here who can do that. Can't say I blame her. This is serious, Nico. Where is she? Hmm, not sure. But I know she's been looking for Wanda's grimoire, so... Maybe check in Wanda's room? Thanks for your help. Fine, speak. <laughs> 
This room belonged to the Scarlet Witch, did it not? Wanda. It belongs to Wanda. Let me guess. You are to ask me to do the one thing the others value me for. Opening their precious portal. Well, I am in the middle of something. Come back later. It is never easy to lose a comrade. I know this too well. We did not lose Wanda. We let her go. Before any of this started. Wanda's first grimoire. Agatha gave it to her when she was teaching her witchcraft, the dark arts. She was trying to help Wanda control her powers. She would never let me read it. So now I read it. That is no child's book, whose focus for one second be lost completely within its pages. Let me guide you through it. You do not own the darkness, Hunter. I was also raised within it. So much so, I barely remember a time without it. And now Wanda has this in common with us too. I know what she's going through. To come face to face with true evil itself. To be dragged to some hell dimension so hot that your soul is scorched black. Your heart so filled with soot that it chokes out all the bright parts of you. Until you are just a dark thing of smoke and ash. I cannot let such a fate happen to her. We will find her. I can feel it. And just who will find her? Caretaker? The Avengers? Do not try to fool me with your false empathy, Hunter. I know Caretaker will never waste the resources looking for her. Ileana, just open the portal. You are like an Avenger. All you do is take, take, take. You expect too much. <sighs> okay, I will open your damn portal. It is time such as this that I wish someone else here could drill holes through space and time. Perhaps Doctor Strange should spend less time tinkering with Tony Stark in the Forge and focus more on his magic. Ugh, no matter. I will be there when you are ready, Hunter. Goodbye. Salutations. I take it you found our gatekeeper. Then let me explain what's going on. When Hydra isn't preoccupied with world-ending scenarios, they spend a lot of their free time terrorizing the citizens of New York through various low-level operations. It's fairly routine stuff for heroes these days, and worst case, we'll still get some fresh intel in the process. Why don't you check the mirror table and see what we've got on our plate?
and I will, I shall see you tomorrow for another installment of of Marvel's The Midnight Sun playthrough. Until then, everybody, have a good night. I love you all. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the video. And, and also, follow me on, on Twitch. Links to that, to my Twitch page again, are in the, in the description below. Thanks. Have a great night. Bye now.